Hi, I'm David. I'm captain with Thomas Cook Airlines. I've been flying for 16 years. I've got about 10,000 hours, about 4,000 flights. Okay, turbulence is just part of everyday life for us as pilots. The first thing we have to appreciate is that air acts exactly the same as water. It just, it's less dense and it's invisible. So if you can imagine a speedboat on a river, as the speedboat goes down the river, it creates quite a big wake behind the speedboat. And then if you're in another boat that goes behind the speedboat, you're gonna be a bit choppy. So one of the main contributors to turbulence is just the terrain of the world that we live in. Uh, for example, the Alps are, I think they're about 700 miles wide. The air is gonna go up and down over the mountains and this creates the air above it to be very uneven. Second one, which is a lot of pilots don't like this, is uh, the, the weather itself. Once we get flying, uh, we have our weather radar and it paints a lovely picture of all the weather in front of us and we can see the thunderstorms, that's quite obvious, we don't fly anywhere near them. So using the tools of the aeroplane we can navigate all around the, the weather and uh, try and stay out of the, the really turbulent thunderstorms. The third type of turbulence that we really encounter these days is uh, what we call clear air turbulence and this is caused by the jet streams. Some days these jet streams can be up to 200 miles an hour and if you can just picture a nice big wide river, a really fast flowing river, in the middle of the river you can have the water will flow very fast and at the side of the river it's probably a little bit slower. The jet streams are exactly like that. The best thing to do to help ease the pain of the turbulence, if there is any, is just to take your mind off it. Just trust us, trust the pilot, we know what we're doing, we'll do it as best we can to make it as smooth as we can. Two, take your mind off it, certainly close your eyes, helps a lot listen to music, maybe try and fall asleep. And uh, thirdly, uh, you know, always keep the seatbelt fastened uh, just in case you do get any unexpected bumps out of the blue.